So I don't know anything about it. I think I'm just gonna I'm I'm the wrong person to ask. So I'm gonna I'm going to ignore the the rest of comments about it. If chat wants to uh help out, they can, but I I I'm I I'm not gonna I'm no I'm no longer gonna provide any information because I don't know it. And it's clear at this point that I'm not abundantly clear on what happened because my experience is going to be different from everybody else's given that I went to the global event. All right, next opponent, let's go. First in the set, we got Snorlax into Gary again. Boy, oh boy, do we have a lot of Gary leads. Boy, oh boy, do we have a lot of Gary leads. I do like Snorlax into the Gary leads. That's pretty good for us. I feel like right now you could pivot to like a Dragon Breath Gary lead. And that would look pretty good. That's certainly interesting. Avalug. What the fuck does Avalug do? It's not Hisuian. It's regular Avalug. Okay. I know it's got ice moves. Avalanche. Okay. I think I let one in there. Okay, they're uh seemingly pot committed on uh on this. Let's find out what a uh what a rock slide actually does to them. Okay. They throw at me or are they uh count oh Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. I think we'll take an avalanche. I don't love it, but you know. Let's just eliminate it. We still have that waterfall Gary problem to deal with, right? Where we uh we're gonna be kind of priced into a mirror here. But I still have a shield, which is nice. And if I can get their Gary low enough, I'm feeling pretty good about going into the mirror. Ooh. Let's save that shield. I don't know what their backmon is. We are once again in spice land here, right? That's a pretty spicy uh, meatball there with the Avalug. Obviously getting crunched here wouldn't be great for us, but I don't think it's worth the shield. Oh, they have Outrage. Ugh. All right. Well, that's not great. Oh, into Florges. Ugh. All right. That's probably going to do us in. Because I just don't think I can get this thing dead before uh, we die to spam moves. Oh, I should have done. I should have done a uh, a waterfall there. I spotted him two turns. I've also unfortunately spotted them a lot of turns, which I think is going to be enough. It doesn't matter too much because I think that we weren't going to get to another Aqua Tail there. And I don't have enough health here. All right. Well, GG. Fair enough. I kind of, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Obviously, shielding an Outrage would have been nice. But I still think that puts us in a pretty bad spot. Maybe shields down into the floor just match up. So. I don't know. All right. Hey, an extra drill lead. Okay. I mean, the upside is we can just go double superpower, right? Tank the, uh, like the thing that they can also do is they can, they can also like throw one or two and then switch. Which is always kind of bad for us.
But I like the idea of, of having the superpowers ready for this. I can also bait one superpower. Yeah, see, this is this is what I don't like when they do this, right? Because this is a good a good get for them. This always gives my team real fits. Is that like they they bring the Gyarados in here now? It's also Dragon Breath, which isn't awesome for us. What I could do is I could go to our Excadrill now. Oh, they actually got the Aqua Tail off. Not worth shielding this, by the way. And I don't mind doing this partly also because our Excadrill is not going to win CMP over theirs. So getting it in here and using it here is actually pretty good for us. Ooh, interesting. Is it a level 40 Gary? Okay. Good to know. I guess it could be a level 40 Excadrill too, right? So we actually will win CMP over their Excadrill then. Good to know. Hmm. Do I shield a rock slide? Yes. Ah, and then the level 40 Metagross in the back. Okay, yeah, we got that. <laughs> uh, fun fact, I was talking to Evan earlier today, and he mentioned to me that he's like, man, the battle's been really hard since, uh, since Thursday. And then today I realized uh, it's because this is not level 40 Master League. He's been playing with level 40 Pokemon in Master Premier since Thursday. <laughs> he's like, I've been winning some sets, but it's been much harder than I expected. And I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's because you're playing with underleveled shit. <laughs> you should still win the games you're supposed to win, but you're not going to win any neutral matchups at, at level 40. But that was definitely a Gary in the back sweep. Even at level uh, 50, that's a Gary in the back sweep. So, uh, Sylveon again. Ooh la la. Another Sylveon up here. Okay. I'm fine with this. It's not like the best thing in the world for us because of the fact that like do they outright superpower me or do they bait me? <laughs> yeah, they baited me. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Okay, so they two shielded or they one shielded that's one shield so yeah you know what take your one shield win take it go for it i'll live with that i'll live with that like debuff dragonite we should be able to farm it up even if they superpower me again like i'm not that mad about it there it is like oh no but now we get a lot of energy off this thing. I can throw into Sylveon, which is on charm. So there's that. I can also, I feel like fairly safely go to uh, uh, Gyarados here if I want. What I'm a little nervous about here is them just outright uh, farming the lax, but I think I'll get another body slam if that's their plan. So, yeah. I may have to shield like a moon blast or something, but. Shield this.
Nope, Psy Shock. Psy Shock's not a great shield for us. What's in the back? Ah, the old Swampert. Okay. Are they on Sludge Wave? Nice. Congrats, Rob. I mean, the other thing, too, is that, frankly, Hydro Cannon hits pretty hard, and they might just be able to kill us with Hydro Cannons, too. Right? Like... It's not unreasonable. Sludge Wave. I mean, I can't imagine they're on Sludge Wave, but... Right? Uh, like... Ooh. I need to survive this because the snort... Like, literally, I think we might lose this because of... Oh, okay. The charmer came in. Oh, uh, and then we tie right there. Oh, well done. I didn't think that I forgot the charm was still alive. Fair enough. All right, GG's. Well played by our opponent. We fell behind on shields. If I hadn't shielded that uh that Psy Shock, we win that game. If I hadn't shielded that Psy Shock, we win that game. Bummer for us. I was thinking there was going to be an Excadrill there. You think Crunch does it? I, does Crunch do that much more damage, Driffin? Uh, Snorlax Mirror. <laughs> okay. Who's going to win CMP here? 3690. We're both best buddied. Best buddy laxes. Who wins CMP here? This is either a bait into uh, superpower or it's a superpower in duck. Oh, actually, I don't. I don't like this swap. This swap is not good. <laughs> I, was, I was. I was planning to go to Gary, not Excadrill, and I went to Excadrill on accident. Oh, they're on Outrage? Oh. Obviously, I would much rather... Uh... Not be here, but that's fine. Outrage Lax isn't something like... I don't... I don't think it's impossible to run into out like outrage lax obviously has some value but hmm let's save the gary for a potential uh instance where it's gonna be handy They don't get another move. If it's back to Lax, I feel good about that, right? Yeah, because we can just superpower him here and then duck. I guess they could outrage me again. <laughs> No, it's a body slam. I'm like, I don't think it makes sense to be outraging this. Oh, it's Florgis again? Ay, ay, ay. That's not great. Florgis is not really what we want to see. Do they... What do they do here? No, that's not what I wanted you to do. Because <laughs> now they now they probably get to Moonblast and kill us. And then, uh, well, I mean, if I can get them low enough for the farm to work here. If I get them low enough for the farm to work. 
There's the Moonblast. So we gotta farm this. Cause we got now we have to get to a superpower. And I also need them not to kill me with a body slam, which, uh, well, actually, we don't need to do that. We can just body slam them, right? Body slam works. They're low enough. They're shadow. This has to do it. We don't need to get to superpower. Nah. Nah. We're good. We're good. That works out. I was like, I was worried they had a little more health, but they did empty their energy into, uh, into the Gyarados, so... We luckily just needed just needed a little bit of a running start. They were never going to kill us with fast moves. So as long as we were ahead, I think we were favored there. Obviously, shielding and outrage was bad, but I don't know why they showed me outrage. Like, realistically, why even show me outrage there? Body slam. Like, you might as well. The move isn't good if it lands, so you should just body slam me. They're both resisted. Togekiss. Okay. I don't actually really want to play this matchup. <laughs> not going to lie. I would much rather uh, not play this matchup right now. And I would much rather uh, them pivot out and we go to Excadrill. But I think we have to play this out. Oh my god. I actually mistimed that for a charm for them. Bummer. My biggest concern now being that if they have, um, they think they flamethrower me. Yeah, you know what? I guess if you do, do your worst. Yeah, they flamethrowered me. Doesn't kill me. They're still going to have to go into shield disadvantage to win this fight, so. But if they have like a Dragon Breath Gary in the back, we're just in trouble. Yeah, they're not going to. They're going to let this, they'll let this go. Or, you know, a Garchomp, I guess. It's pretty bad, too. Uh, Nielsen, give me a, give me a sec on that. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to think about that. And they sand to me. Sand to me. Aha! God, it still hits like a truck, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, I'm right that you sand to me, but. On the other hand, I kind of hate it. We're going to we're going to switch after uh this one, by the way. I want to leave the extra drill with a little bit of health. We have a little bit of health and a little bit of energy. We might be able to make something work here. And they're also shielding like it matters, so I think they also sand to me here. I guess the only way like, if they have outrage, I guess, you know what? You got me. Nope, sand to him. They're going, they're going full on. Okay, this feels like their backmon is a uh an Excadrill or a Metagross. It's a Metagross. Got it. Hmm, there's a couple different ways that we could win this game. There's also a pretty particular one for them, which they went for, which was the farm down, right? They went for the farm down. Okay. Since they weren't going to get through the shield, they really didn't have the... Uh, they didn't have the juice to get through our shield, so we'll take we'll take that. Oh, still got a little bit dicey. It still got a little bit dicey. GG's. All right, uh, Nelson. Oh yeah, it, it does not matter, Nielsen, at all. Like, it's exactly the same powering it up as a Magikarp or powering it up as a Gyarados, but you do really want Aqua Tail on it. And uh, Aqua Tail is an ETM move, so. Oh, good. A ball of feel. All right. Well, we're doing it again. Team seems to be working okay, so let's uh, let's keep it rolling. 
Let's keep it rolling. I don't see any reason to uh, deviate from the plan. The plan is working. To an extent. Hey, it's a Snorlax mirror again in the lead. How do we look CMP wise? Uh, I look like I am inclined to win CMP here. The question is, how does it go down? How does it go down? Oh, I guess they got a 15 attack as well, right? I'm not going to shield this. Because my intent here is to superpower them and then switch. We're going to go to Gary this time, not Excadrill, by the way. Oh, bummer. So they do have the Dragon Breath, Gary, which is kind of unfortunate for us, but... It's okay. Hey, Yogi. It is okay. It is okay. Nice, Heskin. Congrats, bud. I'm glad it worked out for you. I'm glad it worked out for you. Hmm. I'm not shielding this. Crunch. Give me a crunch. There we go. All right. So we're going to generate shield advantage or we're going to generate switch advantage here. Shield advantage it is. Let's go. So their Snorlax does have some energy, so I am sort of inclined to eat a little damage here and not worry so much about, like, the health. I want to put myself in a position. Uh, this is getting a little aggressive, though. We're getting a little aggressive now. But Aqua Tail ain't going to kill me. Oh, Crunch. Crunch ain't going to kill me either, though. Come on. Don't, don't backfire. Oh, but... Mm. Okay, one, it's a Florgis, which isn't great. And two, I think we're going to die to that fast move damage there, which is terrible. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So Moonblast slaps, right? But I also have to keep in mind that their Snorlax has energy. So if I shield anything out of this Florgis, Snorlax is coming. And it's going to superpower us. So. I have to keep that in mind. Right? Oh, they got the debuff? Ew. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. Army voice, that's fine. Hold on to your butt. <laughs> and then what I need two moves here oh I think we have it but I think lick is gonna kill us I think we're gonna die to a lick come on oh really oh, what bullshit man Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> that one fucking hurts, y'all. That one fucking hurts. I think I was correct in the things I know shielded, but obviously it didn't end up mattering. It didn't end up mattering. I think we made good plays along the way, and I just think... I, I, you know what? I should have shielded... I think I thought I had one shield. I should have shielded that Moonblast. Now that I think about it, that was actually a bad no shield on my part. Uh, Dragonite. Yeah, Dragonite's not a lead we want to see. But... Also, Shadow Dragonite's a little bit scary, but... A Dragon Tail Shadow Dragonite, nonetheless. Interesting. They just YOLO a superpower into me. It feels that feels so greedy. No. Okay. It 
Yeah, I uh, I misplayed in that game. I thought I had one shield when I had two. And then they'll go down there. Perfect. So that works out the way we like. What's uh what's a coming in here? What's your Snorlax counter? Interesting. They also haven't switched out here. Ah. <laughs> I see how it is, friend. I see how it is. Um yeah, we were going to win this game anyway, I think. But uh I think my opponent is a little bit salty about the Dragonite dying without getting to use a move. Right? I think I I think I could read the salt through the screen. <laughs> yeah, they're salty. <laughs> oof. Big oof. It was clear the salt was there. <laughs> cuz I cuz like you saw the behavior, right? Like the uh we body slammed, they had the 1 HP. We licked them out, and they're like, ugh, this sucks. And then I just immediately pivoted to the core breaker for their back line, and they just never threw a move at me. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I think they I think they know this is over. I think they know this was over. Uh, hey, Woogie. It's all right. It's all right. I enjoyed my time in Vegas with friends. I did not enjoy Hoenn Tour specifically. So they were, they just believe in ABE. Always be earthquaking. All right, Rops Volta. Good luck, friend. A pair up here. Snorlax and Florgy. Okay. I do love a Florgis, not gonna lie. This is the Pokemon I most want to be running right now. And I'm just not <laughs> because I don't have the XLs. There's the Moonblast. Please don't debuff. I feel pretty comfortable in this matchup that will win the zeros or generate advantage. The problem here is whether or not um, if they get a debuff, it starts to get really awkward for us. Premier is a level 50 format. We should win this, but it's very it's very close, Sadie. Like it's a very close matchup. Cuz they'll moonblast me here which will put me close. Oh, they dazzling gleam. Okay. Double gleam. Double gleam might do it. I think it's going to come up just short and I hopefully I'll get this body slam off. Oh, it actually worked. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Just don't get a move there. Okay. Perfect. What's your back line? Guard chomp, okay. With the mud shot, even. All right. The defense drop is excellent for us, obviously. I mean, they can outrage me, but it doesn't kill me. I'm actually not. I know that, like, we're still in, like, Boy, I should be shielding something land probably, but I've been very greedy about my shields. Okay, I like that part. Okay, fine. I'll give you a shield here. Earth power, sure. Ah, into their own Excadrill. This was kind of what I was thinking was going to happen too, so I was pretty much willing to let this go because they are never going to kill me with uh, fast moves here. I don't think this backfires. Oh, they win CMP. It does backfire. Okay. For some reason, I thought I'd win CMP. It doesn't matter 
because I believe we'll kill them before they get to a drill run here. But for some reason, I thought I won CMP. Yeah, there's just no world for their energy to actually work there for them. So I was definitely taking a, a, a calculated risk there that I forgot the CMP, but it still worked out for us. It still worked out for us. So they were Florgis, Garchomp, uh, Excadrill. Fun. Fun. I'm sad that we're not 3-0 in the set, that we lost that first game on my decision not to shield. But that's all right. That's all right. Definitely would hate to lose more games with all these shields, but... Uh, four and one, it's possible, Burning Gundam. Yeah, it's possible. MHF, we had a lot of pair-ups in this set. Like, a lot of pair-ups. Metagross lead. Yeah, we like that. In fact, Metagross is terrible against our entire team, so... Show me what you want to do here, bud. Yep, we stay. We stay right here. <laughs> Our back line can definitely ha handle Metagross, and it really cannot handle uh, Gyarados, right? This is literally our dream matchup to an extent. Metagross farmed up a move, but our back line just dunks on it. Absolutely raffle stomps it. So I don't have to shield anything here. Obviously, I would like to choose where stuff goes, but... Oh, they got the defense drop. Good for them. We're pretty happy to just chew through this. Norlax is doing its job, right? Yep. And then you put Metagross back. I mean, if you do, that's fine, right? We can, we can, we can work with this. They're gonna have to throw a move at me, or I'm going to superpower them. Okay, fair enough. Waste the energy. I think we put Gyarados on it. Just because we don't have to respect anything it does with Gyarados, where it could Earthquake our Excadrill. Right? This is a Meteor Mash, so. Obviously, we're fairly favored here. They can try and superpower me, but I think the answer here is we shield everything they do. And even if they double bait me, I don't really care. It's possible, I guess, a double bait could uh, could work out for them, right? The most important thing here is I, I don't think we can afford to spot them a, uh, a move, right? So, what, two, four, six, eight is a good throw. The question is, do I shield now? This, this could be a mistake. Oh, good catch. All right, good catch. Gonna do the damage. Might as well. I don't think they can get me here. Dragon Claw's not gonna get me, and I have energy, right? Dragon Claw, no, not quite. And then, yeah, I was pretty sure we're going to be fine. The real, the real sad thing, y'all, is that this would be the 4-0 going into a potential 5-0 to hit Legend. Instead, we're 3-1. Either way, we have a winning set. We're we're positive in the set. Right? Nice, Athos. I wish I had the Shundo. I do have a Hundo Hatlax, but I have not best buddied it yet, so I opted to build the one that I had best buddied. This Norlax best buddy is very valuable. 
Uh, Dragonite lead, okay. Not a great lead for us, but a winnable lead. Has a lot to do with whether or not our opponent decides to YOLO a superpower into us, right? And I'm not, I'm not confident on how that'll go. They could very easily take the route of just YOLO superpower. They could also double superpower me, right? That's a, a real possibility. Yep, there's the superpower. And it does get us. That's the worst part is it actually just kind of cleans our clock. So that's not great. That's what I was worried they would do. Um, it's a really good play pattern for them. And obviously, like, I don't want to put... Basically, I didn't want to put the Excadrill in because um all right this is winnable but it's bad they have so much energy that they're just gonna superpower again right like hey what's up doms i'm not feeling great about this game as it currently stands i feel like we are in we're in some real trouble here i gotta protect the excadrill right now it's it's the core breaker that gives us a chance to win this game but we're probably gonna need something else Oh, fuck me, man. Well, they, they're not now Don Schuster, but they were at the time, right? That was what I was worried about. I'm not worried about getting superpowered now. The problem now is just the fact that we're this far behind, right? I'm two shields in the hole. <laughs> I need my opponent to start making some questionable choices. Honestly, that's a, that's a pretty good start to that. If they two shield this here... We have a chance, but they know. They know that we have a Gyarados, so... Oh, I could have... You know what? I could have forced a switch there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I should have... I should have uh, caught. I should have caught there. Catching there actually gives us a real chance of winning. I think I, think I punted that. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I I think the two game. I mean, that game I think was going to be hard any, anyway. But we definitely lost a game at the start of a set that we had a lot of control over, and unfortunately, it's not going to be it's not going to be enough. So that should have been a four and one, but. You know, positive is positive. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. We'll take our dubs. We'll take our dubs. Where does it put us? 2975. 